Hi, this is Tony Jones with I Dissect Music. Today we're going to dissect We Are Not Ashamed, played by Glenn Gibson Jr. Um, actually, we may do four to five, I may do four to five videos. All depends, uh, because when Glenn Gibson plays, I mean, it's just loaded with so much. Uh, let's just start off at the beginning and see what he's doing and take it from there. <laughs> So he's in the key of E. And I really can't hear what he's doing at the very beginning when he comes in. So I'm going to just play what is called like an E suspend 2, which is E, F sharp, and B. And left hand, I just may play E and B. So one, two, three. And I'm just bouncing it. I'm going to go here. like this something like that so let's dissect so we start off with the E suspend 2 that's where we're going so let me just pull this up here for my, for my sake so the E suspend 2 and I got E and B in the left hand 1, 2, 3 now this move here is done a lot by if you want to see guys that do this type of move that move da 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 that type of move is done a lot by uh, Jason Tyson. Look up his videos, Rodney East, uh, musicians like that. Uh, but he, he, after he does this, one, two, three, he starts to walk. So that there, I like to do this grace note. It's like an E second inversion. But I'm doing a drop two, which means I'm taking the E, the second note, and putting it in my left hand, dropping it here to the, to the left. Uh, and I grace note off the F sharp to the A flat, like that. And then he does a little. So that is F sharp, G F sharp E. So da, 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 da. so when I start the trio here, F sharp, G F sharp E, uh, I'll be playing a D sharp if I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay correct with my. Um, I won't call it flat. So I'll hit a D sharp in the left hand. So da, 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 da. when I hit the E in the left hand, right hand, left hand is C sharp. So da, 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 da. when I hit the D sharp in the right hand, left hand is on B. So da, 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 da. that there is a drop two, A second inversion. E and C sharp in the right hand, the A note is dropped to the left hand. So when I went one, In a B second inversion, F sharp and B, sorry, F sharp and D sharp, but I'm a grace note off the C sharp here. So, da -da -da -da. grace note off that C sharp like that. Left hand B. So, one, two, and then this here, this, this is an A add nine, but I'm playing it where my left hand, right hand is playing A, B, and, and uh, E. Left hand is playing C sharp. So one, two, three, and I do, he does something like this. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm hearing it correctly. That there's an E at 11, but he's grace noting again off the E uh, second inversion where he's doing E and he's grace noting off the F sharp to the G sharp. Left hand, I got close. E and A. So give us that effect. So one, two, three. There, it's like a B major chord, so but the right hand is B and let's do that B and F sharp in the right hand, left hand is D sharp. Some people call it E flat, but it's D sharp in this case since we're in the key of E. So we went and then he does a little something like this. Um, he grace notes from the A, B flat to the B. Da, 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 da. Then the thumb comes down to the B. So I'm my fingering is one, three, five. You can be one. Uh, some people may do one, four, five, but I prefer one, three, five, and the thumb comes down to the B. So to make a long story short, 
left hand, when I hit the B, I hit the B note in the left hand. And when I hit the octave B lower here, I hit the octave B lower in the left hand. So, together. So, together so far. So, two. I'm going to do it in real time. Then he goes, let's see. Let's go from there. Let's not assume. Let's see. Okay, so he kind of go. Okay, so what is that? That's a one chord. How we're doing it is pretty much a one chord. It's like an E major seven, nine, thirteen. But I tell people when you want to do these type of moves. To do that move, um, this move here, the way I tell people to start that first move, to know where to start with that move is three in my scale. It's uh, three in my scale is G sharp, and I'm playing a G sharp suspended with an octave, suspended four. So I just roll off the C sharp to the D sharp. And he goes to the then he drops the D sharp to the D, to the D G sharp again, da, 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 then to the C sharp to the, to the G sharp. So start off. Left hand he's going E B F sharp. So then he's going to say. So I'm holding that E, and as I hit the 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 the, the, the grace note up to the. D to the, to the uh, D sharp. I'm hitting the D sharp in the left hand. So the D sharp is going down chromatically two with it. So so we let me keep going. And this here is like an E minor seven, but how I play it, he's playing it kind of where he's got a if you would F sharp or with an octave. Left hand D sharps. That's how I would play it. So, and then let's see where he goes. Let's just keep it moving here. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up. That part. So we got we and then I'm gonna hit this chord again. And I just to me what I'm hearing is he's just dropping the C sharp, he's uh flattening the five there, which makes a C with an eighth with a G sharp basically. So you actually can drop both and make it diminish if you like. It's up to you of your preference. So just drop the C sharp to the C with the A flat. Or drop the A sharp and the C sharp down half steps. And then he goes something like this. I'm doing a little C and E flat melody. And then I'm coming up to half step up to C sharp and E. When I do to C sharp and E, I'm gonna walk my left hand. It's gonna be C sharp. G sharp E, the gospel. Okay, so we, let me keep it moving. If you want to, and then and then you can do something like that. it's like he's kind of getting that little. So he's going single note C sharp E C sharp D sharp to the E. Let's do that. I'm just trying to see which one I like better. Uh, you can play B and E in the left hand. Or you can just play E flat, sorry, D sharp and E. Give that effect. So, the gospel. If you want to, just brace it down. And basically, your bass line will be B there. First one is C sharp into the B. 
And then we're gonna do a little right there, single notes, E, C sharp, sorry, E, D sharp, C sharp, B. And then I'm gonna play uh, open suspended chord, which is uh, uh, C sharp suspended four with an octave. C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. Left hand B flat. Now when you when you when you do the F, uh, when you put the B flat with it, it's pretty much a B flat. Uh, I have to play with that chord there. Da, 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 da. And then let's keep going. I think that's what he does. I remember hearing it. Something like that. Or Okay, let's do that. I'm just going up half steps. See, sometimes them half steps give you that sound. That there's a G, uh, C minor second. Take it up half steps up to C sharp minor second. When I get there, I play B flat and D in the left hand. Or A sharp and D rather. This makes it a, uh, um, a A sharp seven flat nine flat five. And then let's keep going. That there is an E, D sharp seven, which is a G, A sharp, and D sharp in the right hand. Left hand is D sharp and C sharp. I know y'all, I know y'all used to flats in gospel, but since I'm in the key of E, I gotta keep it sharp. So da, da, da. let's do that. C sharp, D, C sharp, B. That there's D sharp D C sharp B, and then when I hit that B, I'm playing left hand A flat D sharp and F sharp. So let's keep saying where he's going there. I want to get up to a certain point, so let's keep moving. There it is. that is so when we go fast he went to like a one he went to a one move there that's one and then he gonna go to the four that's an e six nine there and the left right hand is f sharp g sharp b and c sharp left hand and he just kind of grow just hitting the b like that left hand is e and b so da da two then he does that fast walking up the scale pretty much the E F sharp G sharp B there go that suspended sound again it's making like an A major 7 13 but it's when you go ba -da -da -da, C sharp it's a I'll call it a C sharp suspended 4 C sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. Left hand is gonna go A, E, A. Okay, so we went ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Do a little slower. Da -da. I think I remember because I like this movie so it's after this. Let's get that. I know somebody won't that there. So what is it? Uh it's like you walking it up. It's like you going from the um five sharp diminish to the six minor, to the seventh diminish, and that there is a one sharp diminish. 
but he's not doing it like that. He's going, this is the chorus that he's doing, but he's kind of doing drop twos with the diminish, the minor drop two, diminish drop two. Okay, so what is that? It's a, uh, think of it as a C sharp diminish or G, starting with the G, and I'm dropping the two, which is the C sharp in the left hand. And drop everything from here down half steps to F sharp, A and D sharp and C in the left hand. So da da. And then think of a lot of times when people do diminished chords, they're going up three half steps, which make it a minor third. So just think of three half steps. Up. So he went da da. Three half step up. It makes it an A diminish. It's the same chord. The same as a C diminished. Any diminished chord that you, any note that you hit in a diminished chord is that diminished chord. So C sharp. We'll make it G to the drop down half step up to, to uh, A diminished, which is A, C, and F sharp, D sharp in the left hand. That there's a C sharp minor uh, drop two, which is G sharp and E, C sharp in the left hand. And then uh, we're just gonna flip it. That there is a C sharp minor, C sharp and, and um, a G sharp in the right hand, E in the left hand. Da if you want to roll off your left hand, da -da -da, D, D sharp, E. I'm just rolling up. So, da -da, da -da, da -da. that there's an A diminished again, A, C, and F sharp with a D sharp in the right hand. And then I'm going to go up three half steps to C diminish, which is C, D sharp, and A, and an F sharp in the left hand. And I stop it here at a B diminished, just drop it down half steps, which is a B diminished, B, D, and, and uh, G sharp, F in the left hand. So, da -da, da -da. let's see where it go from there. Let's add a little bit more here. Okay, hold on. Up to that point okay so we when we did this wall that there <laughs> so what chord is that that there's an F sharp 9 13 flat 5 but I'm gonna give you the notes a sharp C D sharp G sharp left hand I'm playing F sharp and E so when I go da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna do a move. That there right hand, left hand is gonna go E, D sharp, D, C sharp, A sharp, B, C, low C. So when I go one, two. Da -da 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 -da. Then he does a little. This is like a C chord, C augmented seven nine. But how we gonna play this? I'm I'm gonna have a rootless uh, bass. I'm gonna have this uh, uh, A sharp, B and G sharp in the right hand, E in the left hand. There. Okay. Let's do that. And then here is pretty much a B7, sus2, which is B, C sharp, and F sharp. Left hand is B. So, da -da. and then I'm gonna put one more move on here. And <laughs> I told you it's loaded like a loaded baked potato. So, when we gotta hit that, da -da. one, two. Da -da. Then he does this. I like this. Then let me go up to this part. Let's do that. And we'll stop there. Okay, so when you did your uh, two. So I got two. 
Mm-hmm. So what is that? It's an A second inversion, drop two. A and sorry, E and C sharp in the right hand, A in the left hand. Then he jumps. It's a C sharp minor, but he grace notes off the C to the C sharp and uh, G sharp. Left hand is E. So da. Then think of it, see if you have the right finger position, I got the two and the five there, so that's gonna help. Cause it's gonna help going back here to the one and three in the right hand, making it an A major chord. A and E in the right hand, C sharp in the left hand. So to a B chord. B chord drop to B and F sharp in the right hand, F uh, D sharp in the right hand, in the left hand, sorry. So da. I'm gonna go. So what is that? That's a. Uh, that's actually a. Um, what key we? We here. That's actually a five flat or a. If you would one two three four four sharp chord. And that would be um, A sharp augmented seven flat nine. But I did a. All I did was take the chords down from half step up from down to up, and that's C sharp F and A. Sorry, C, F, and A. And then take your, each note of half steps, which is F, C sharp, uh, F sharp, and A sharp. Left hand is, when you get to this chord, you're going to be playing A sharp, D, and, and uh, G sharp. Or some people use it rootless where they don't play the bass. So when we did this, sound to the... We'll do another video, but let's try from the beginning. He starts off with a one, two. I'll play from the beginning. I'll do it slower. Then we went two. And he went. Part one, like I told you, um, we're basically going to do maybe four or five videos because uh, it's loaded. Uh, uh, shout out to Glenn Gibson, phenomenal player. You all be blessed. This is Tony Jones with I Dissect Music. See you later.